Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more, well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Laura stared at her father and banned him from her wedding because she was ashamed that she was a humble sweeper. However, she would soon realize that she made the worst decision of her life. Anna was a humble young woman who, due to the lack of support, couldn't study. However, she was always a very hard-working woman. From the age of 11, she delivered newspapers at the main traffic lights in the city. Later, she worked in a tortilla factory. Then, she sold sweets in the parks and, with a lot of effort, managed to raise the money to buy a cotton candy machine. And so, she made a living at the entrance to the circuses and also near some schools. When the best circus in that country arrived in Anna's town, it was quite an event. So she wanted to take advantage of that great opportunity because everyone, but all the inhabitants were going to overflow when they saw that the show that they enjoyed, very good fame, of course. So she settled near the entrance. In half an hour, she had already sold all the cottons, and when she was about to gather her things to leave, a handsome, tall, athletic young man of light who worked in the circus approached her and asked her if she wanted to enter the performance. She answered yes, but that she had no money. The boy replied that there was no problem because she would be his guest of honor. She couldn't believe that she could finally get into a quality circus. The boy who invited her was Valdemero, the star trapeze artist. In the seats, there were young ladies with a lot of money who, when they saw him on the circus stage, sighed for him. And when the performance ended, they looked for him because they wanted to meet him. However, the young man had noticed Anna and had spoken of love. She saw in him a sincere man and fell at the feet of his beauty. The boy asked her to go with them to the circus and to become his wife. However, Anna was afraid and said no, that they live their love. But what would that proposal think? The kids were carried away by passion, and one night Anna agreed to go with Baldomero to a hotel. Four months passed in that affair because the circus had gone to a very close town and Baldomero came and went just to be with his beloved Anna. However, when five months had passed, the circus had to leave for the other end of the country, and Anna did not feel ready to go with them. So with tears, she had to watch her love go away in a small circus wagon. But in reality, Anna didn't know why she had stayed when she had no family or material wealth to protect in this place. However, deep down, she was afraid that this relationship would not work out and that she would be stranded in a strange place and that her lover would leave her. Days passed and Anna began to feel ill, to the point that she fainted in the main park of the town. So they transferred her to a hospital and told her that she was pregnant. The young woman was puzzled because the father of her baby had gone with the circus and did not know which city. Thus, she became a single mother to Laura, for whom she gave everything in her life. Things weren't easy, the truth, because although she had some savings, they weren't enough to support a child. So she continued with her traveling sales on the street. She also went to clean some houses and continued making cotton to sell near the schools. Anna had the luxury of raising at the time with the comforts that her economic possibilities allowed her. She worked until the weekends to buy good clothes and shoes for her little girl. In addition, she paid private schools so that she had a good education and therefore a good future. Laura rubbed shoulders with money girls and from a young age was freeing herself in the mind that she deserved in luxuries, so she demanded that her mother buy her the same things that money people were giving their children. At that time, Anna was doing her best to please her little girl. She was rewarded with excellent grades. The nuns who owned the school where Laura studied knew of all the effort that Anna made to pay the monthly payments and send her daughter in the best way possible. So one day they called her and told her that there was a vacancy as a janitor and the salary was good. Without hesitation, she accepted. When Laura found out that her mother would work at the same school where she studied, she was furious and told her not to mention to anyone that she was her daughter because then her wealthy classmates would no longer want to hang out with her. Anna obeyed that order, and no one, absolutely no one, knew about it. Then the girl left primary school and went to study at another private school, while Anna kept her job as a janitor. In high school, Laura asked her mother to support her to study architecture, and the lady was 100% willing to do so. The girl went to a private university where she met Angel Lagareta, a handsome young man and heir to a great fortune. She was very interested in the beautiful girl who was identical to his father and, from the first day of school, had an interest in her. But he never said anything at all. 
Although that way they began to talk and then they did work together, they went out to the movies to eat on certain occasions. When he asked her about her parents, Laura told him that she was an orphan and that she'd grown up with her grandparents, that she had a lot of money and that her companies were abroad. But the girl avoided giving in-depth details. In the second year of studying together, Angel decided it was time to confess his love and start a courtship that ended in marriage. And there came Laura's worst disregard, because she never introduced her mother to the man she was going to marry, and on the wedding day, she forbade her to enter, because she was ashamed of her humble person that she was. Anna tried to enter, but the security officers prevented her, as Laura had given them a photo of the lady so that they would not let her pass. The woman turned her over crying, but did not resign herself for being absent on that important day for her daughter. So she hastily rented an elegant suit that included a hat that covered part of her face. She bought some fine shoes so she'd be able to enter the church and see her daughter say yes to her millionaire boyfriend. The months went by and Anna continued working as a janitor at that school, but suddenly she fell ill and had to retire. The long ones were nights and pain and loneliness that the poor lady spent. Depending on the charity of her neighbors, especially Juliana, who did her the favor of buying her food and medicine she needed. By those coincidences of life, the neighbor met Laura in a pharmacy and told her that her mother was seriously ill and dying alone. Laura could not believe that and immediately went to see her mother and convinced herself that she was really in danger of death and promised that she would take care of her mother and that nothing was going to be missing from now on without saying anything to her husband. Every day she went to visit her mother and took care of her but those outings seemed strange to Angel, and one day he had to follow her, and when he found her taking care of her mother, and when he learned that she was not really an orphan, the man gave back enraged. When Laura got home, her husband had all of her things packed up for her and told her to leave because she'd cheated on him, and also that she was not the same social class. Laura at first apologized for a thousand, but then decided that this was the best. She took her things and returned to her mother's house. The next day, she made a contract to buy her own house, as she had a good job. In two weeks, she had already moved in with Anna, whom she took care of until the last moment, and a thousand times she apologized for being ashamed of her. Eventually, the lady passed away, and Laura became a better person. She was no longer ashamed of her origins and kept working to enjoy her own money. A couple years later, she met Gabriel, a handsome architect who fell in love with her, and they got married. The young couple had two children, and on each anniversary of the death of Donna Anna, they, together with their children, visited the grave and filled it with many flowers. Life took care of teaching Laura a lesson, who valued her mother until she was about to lose her. Don't let life take you down that same path. Love and value your mother for all she's done for you. If you like this video, feel free to share it with your friends and family. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Activate the notification bell so that you are always aware when we upload a new story for you. We await you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.